China is focusing on chiplets to close the gap with international manufacturers. Amid no let-up in US-China tech tensions, many Chinese are pinning their hopes on the concept of a chiplet as a replacement for standard chips to help the country achieve greater self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing. The chiplet is essentially a technology that allows an integrated circuit block to be interconnected with other ICS to form a larger, more complex chip. For China, chiplet technology is particularly appealing because it opens up the possibility of incorporating a series of 14 nanometer node chips which the country can produce, with other chips it cannot produce, to create a more powerful semiconductor that is equivalent to an advanced 7 nanometers or even 3 nanometers node chip, which could help reduce the impact of US trade sanctions. The chiplet has gained popularity in China as the country's semiconductor manufacturing is years, if not decades, behind international fabs such as TSMC and Samsung Electronics when it comes to making advanced chips. With US trade sanctions on the export of advanced chip technologies to China unlikely to lift any time soon, a number of Chinese researchers have argued that the chiplet could be an option for the country to forge its own path in advanced chipmaking. Even Huawei has recently joined its R&D camp. So can chiplets really solve China's semiconductor crisis? What is the current development of chiplets in China? What are the advantages of chiplet? What opportunities and challenges are there? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. First, let's take a look at the advantages of chiplet. In recent years, with the failure of Moore's law, the industry has begun to explore and deploy products from chiplet technology. Especially after entering 2022, there will be more and more industry dynamics related to chiplet. Intel, AMD, ARM, TSMC, Samsung and other chip giants launched a new interconnection standard UCIE aimed at chiplets. Apple released a top-level computer chip M1 Ultra that belongs to the category of chiplet technology with explosive performance. Huawei released 3D stacking technology patents. Chiplet is considered to be one of the important technologies to continue to improve the scale and density of chips in the post more era. To sum up, chiplet's technical advantages mainly include the following four aspects. First, it can greatly improve the yield of large chips. Through chiplet design, Superlarge chips can be cut into independent small chips according to different functional modules and manufactured separately, which can effectively improve yield and reduce production costs. The second is to reduce the design complexity and design cost. With the continuous advancement of technology, the complexity and design difficulty of designing chips based on the more advanced technology will also be greatly increased, and the design cost will also skyrocket. If in the chip design stage, a large-scale SOC is decomposed into chips according to different functional modules, then some chips can be designed similarly to modular, and can be reused in different chip products. In this way, the difficulty and design cost of chip design can be greatly reduced, and it is also conducive to the iteration of subsequent products and accelerates the time to market of products. The third is to reduce the cost of chip manufacturing. After the SOC is chippeltized, different chips can be manufactured separately by selecting the appropriate process according to the needs, and then assembled through advanced packaging technology. It is no longer necessary to put all advanced processes on a single wafer for integrated manufacturing, which can greatly reduce the cost of chip manufacturing. Fourth, it can meet diversified market demands, especially the application side demand for custom chips. All in all, chiplets have emerged as a way of extending Moore's law, or sidestepping it entirely, depending upon the application. Either way, the recent introduction of the Universal Chiplet Interconnect Express Specification 1.0 is an enabling technology, providing a standard way to connect these limited function and feature chiplets together into a semi-customized package. However, some experts still have their doubts about the viability of the technology to solve long-term deficiencies. G. Dan Hutchison, vice chair at Tech Insights, a semiconductor research firm, said the chiplet as a semiconductor packaging technology cannot, on its own, solve China's predicament when it comes to advanced chip manufacturing. Hutchison, who described the chiplet as a new marketing term, said the idea is being played up in Chinese industry circles because the country is relatively good at packaging technologies. However, this does nothing to change the situation for manufacturing wafers in fabs because it is a packaging technology. 
Wei Xiaojun, a professor at Tsinghua University and a leading expert on microelectronics, saying that the chiplet is complementary to advanced chipmaking technology and not a replacement for it. Currently, foreign companies are looking to set new universal standards in chiplet technology, which would eventually allow members to use the same interface to facilitate the process from design to manufacturing. The Universal Chiplet Interconnect Express an international consortium tasked with developing industry specifications related to chiplet technologies, was created in March 2022 with 10 founding members, including AMD, ARM, Advanced Semiconductor Engineering, Google Cloud, Intel, Meta, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Samsung, and TSMC. However, no Chinese company has joined the technology alliance so far. At present, China has started soliciting views on its own chiplet standard which was drafted by the CCTA and China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Okay, for the last part, let's take a look at the future development and challenges of chiplets. Overall, the semiconductor industry is enthusiastic about the new standard. But this is just the starting point. The next step is to build an ecosystem of chiplets that are well characterized and proven in silicon. For chiplet on interposer designs, detailed physical implementation tools exist today, as do detailed post layout extraction and signal integrity, power integrity, and thermal simulation tools, said Ken Willis, product engineering architect for signal integrity at Cadence. The key capability that still is needed is an enabling pre design analysis environment for early feasibility and trade off analysis to help make architectural and system level decisions on the implementation. This will require access to qualified chiplet analysis model libraries, representative interposer interconnect libraries, and the ability to rapidly virtual prototype potential implementation approaches across interposer a package, board to enable multidiscipline analyses. Much more work lies ahead. UCIE advocates have clearly defined their areas of focus, which include die-to-die -die IO with industry-leading KPIs, CXL a PCIe for near-term volume attach and a well-defined specification that ensures interoperability and evolution, said Keith Felton, product manager for the Embedded Board Systems Division of Siemens EDA. Looking ahead, UCIE should look to partner closely with other industry alliances focused on enabling commercialization and usage of chiplets such as the Chiplet Design Exchange Project that is part of the Open Compute Project's ODSA, CDX Business Working Group. UCIE is an important first step. There are a lot of different elements that go into a complete interface solution including protocol, PHY, security, management, debug, and form factor, said Arms Defilopi. The industry has been solving these issues in bespoke ways, and now UCIE will have the challenge of standardization of these elements. Still, with the backing of industry heavyweights, UCIE specification 1.0 is gaining momentum. The emerging open industry standard provides better performance, low power, and higher yield. In addition, the planned focus on 3D is expected to promote the growth of the entire semiconductor ecosystem. Learning about the above information, do you think chiplets will be the future of semiconductor industry? Can this new chip technology save China's semiconductor crisis? Please post your wise opinions and interact with us in the comment area. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.